Having a clean supply of drinking water is important to us all and it's not always guaranteed that we will have clean running water. So in this video I'm going to show you how to make a bio sand and charcoal water filter using two buckets that will clean up even dirty water if necessary. First thing you're going to need is two good large food grade buckets. I'm going to start with our drill and drill a hole for a spigot tap in the bottom bucket. Here's an example of a 20mm tap you could use. Next, drill a hole in the lid of the bottom bucket. This will be for a 15mm fitting. Use a round file to get rid of any burrs from any of the holes you've drilled. Drill a corresponding hole in the bottom of the top bucket. And file that. These holes are for a 15mm tank fitting that's going to go between the two buckets. The lid of the bottom bucket and the bottom of the top bucket. Make sure it's good and tight. And then we're going to install a 15mm filter into the top bucket. The filter will screw directly into the tank fitting. Make sure it's done up nice and tight. You could cut the extra lengths of the pipe off here. So there's our bottom bucket. We're going to set the top bucket on. And voila. Fit the tap into the bottom bucket and here's a fitting we're going to use a hex socket on the inside screw it up nice and tight you might want to put some silicon in there but I didn't didn't need it Okay, we're going to test it now to make sure it doesn't leak. Water's flowing nicely from the top bucket to the bottom bucket and no leaks. Okay, so next we're going to get some large gravel, give it a good clean and put it into the first layer of our top bucket. Next we're going to clean up some smaller gravel and add that as our next layer. Right, now we're going to want some washed sand. This is like play sand. Okay, now this will give you a bit of a shock. This is our supposedly premium clean sand that I've bought. And just look how nice and clean that sand really is. Hmm, do you want to drink that water? I don't think so. There it is. That's not orange juice, that's the water that came out of the sand. Okay, after a few more good washings, we eventually get to clean water. But after looking at what came out of that sand, I decided I wanted to boil it to kill off any pathogens just in case. So, next I've added the sand to the bucket, that's our next layer. Okay, now I've got two kilograms of activated carbon or activated charcoal, which you can get from a pet store. And giving that a good clean as well. Now just look at the color of that. Nice and black. Okay, do we want that in our water? No. So, after a few more good cleans though, we end up with clear water, so we stick that as our next layer in the bucket. Okay. Then another layer of clean sand, a layer of small gravel, and then a layer of large gravel. That completes our layers. 
Okay, so now I'm going to test out the filter, going to pour some dirty water through it. I decided to boil this water even though it's dirty because after killing any pathogens, if there were any, I didn't really want to put them back. So pouring the dirty water through and this is what's coming out the other side. From dirty water to pretty clean water. You can see the dirty water on one end, then comparing our filtered water with clean water from the tap. It's still not as clear, but this is our first pass, remember. A couple more passes and it actually cleans up much better. And this is a new filter. I'm expecting it'll actually perform better over time. But it's pretty good for a first go through. Okay, I think the next thing I'd like to do is probably hook up a feed system from my rainwater to run through it. I don't think I'll be running dirty water like that through it again, but it does show you what it's capable of. But putting rainwater through it, or even water from the creek, which is just down from where I am, uh, I think it'll work really well.